Welcome to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the New Palace Links here in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Bronchuk. And I'm Dave Madela. And on this episode of King of the Palace, Justin Scally will face the number three seed, Louis Maha, with a big stunning upset last week, defeating Phil Clough. This is gonna be a great match. Number three seed, Louis Maha, with a qualifying score of 416. Bowling out of Bayberry Bowling with an average of a 106. Up first on alley three, Louis Maha. Gonna be a good match, just a scratch, boys. Louis Maha holding on to a 106 average, and Justin Scally, who last week defeated the reigning king, the Cluffinator, Phil Cluff. Close match. With a 105 average, this is going to be, this is scratch, baby. Okay, Louis up here to make, try to make the 7-10. Uh, Can't up in bowling, better known as the railroad split. He's got some wood down there. Dennis is going to spray it. Hey, nice pick up. Nice shot. Hit the auction. Uh, see, this time when he sprayed and he prayed, he actually prayed. We did? I forget that all the time. Yeah, lots of people do. Remember that. Remember that, Tim Dennis. Hey, Louis wants to fill it with the 8-9 to 10. Way to open up. First it's ball. always nice to open up with a mark. A little wide left, and he's left the four husband right with the eight pin, better known in Kim Pinbowen has left. Kaliri. Yep, actually had the opportunity to bowl uh, the Kaliri uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh! Yeah. How many times did he leave it? Three or four? Never. Oh, he never left it? No, they just call him Kaliri. He never left the Kaliri. Nope. Oh, come on, come on, come back. No backdoor action, nope. Well, fill the spare with a five. Three, six up. A piece of wood up against the three and just barely touching the six. No, that wood angle, Dennis. I just redlined it. Red yeah. Line it Sweep the lake, Johnny. Get one, maybe hope you can get both of them. And... Ooh. Okay. Got he the throws line. the ball a little hard, doesn't he? Uh, throw one. Up now, Justin Scally, the number four seed with a qualifying score of 397. Bowling out of Academy Lanes with an average of a 105. And here is Justin Scally up, box number one, lane number three, who defeated the Cluffinator, the defending ring. Yeah, it, was a, it wasn't a pretty match between Phil and Justin, but Justin in the end pulled it off. Oh. Well, Justin's getting penalized on that one for beating Phil. Look, look at this. Look at this ugliness. He's looking at I agree with him. Oh, man. He took this is, the this one, is definitely a close ref. I'll the tell nine. you what. Two, four, seven, five, three, and six with a piece I, I, of wood I, behind I'm not, the I'm six. Not saying, I'm not saying this. I, I just, this is ridiculous. You can't beat the Cluffinator without repercussions. Yeah, there's always something coming back. Phil saying, throws a beautiful I'll teach, first I'll teach ball you, you young whippersnapper. One three pocket and left that monstrosity, that ugliness. Oh, another big word from Steve this week, monstrosity. And he's like, he left the three pin, he opened up with a nine box fit. I thought he fit a little bit better than that with that first ball delivery, but it's cantaloupe and bowling, Dennis. You know, you never know what's going to happen. It's the greatest sport in the world. It's one of the very few sports you can do it as an individual or as a team. It's a challenging it sport. It doesn't matter how old you are, really. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's cantaloupe and bowling, okay. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh. The new palace. <laughs> the new palace. The th also known as the half horse. The three and the nine. <laughs> Very disappointed to throw that first ball like that, but it happens. He's got to get the head pin. Pretty shot when it goes, though. My favorite shot. Oh, high low Jack looking at him. One seven. Ten. Piece of wood up. Piece of wood rolling up. Up either, to ten. Either side of this. It's a tough shot. Head pin. Yeah, I mean, you, you yeah. have to. You have to yeah. play it one side or the other. It's both the yeah, but, yeah, but that piece of wood may hinder him from going to the right. Ooh, oh, got winner, it. winner, no chicken dinner. And he opens up with two nights for an 18. So we have two boxes each. We got Louis at 24, Justin at 18. Hey, Louis Maha, up on lane number three, box number three. Louis's been on the show before, David. And, uh, Pretty well. Let's see what happens. And he's getting a little bit ready here. First ball to 
delivery. Over the line right. Ooh, he's left some ugliness too. Not quite the snow plot, but he's left the 179. Well, oh, that's what it is. You that's know what? what? We call it. This is as ugly as a shirt. How can a how can a plain blue shirt be ugly? That's not the shirt I'm talking about. Oh, okay. It was that Al Borland shirt that you had on last month. Oh, gosh. You know, I took it out of the closet. It's clean, pressed, washed, and I... Starched, polyester, probably. Oh, I guess he's got, <laughs> he's got that one in there. Hey. Runs around, and he leaves the nine pin. Short pin. Real short. Okay. Munchkin. And Louis going to go after that head pin. He wants to start knocking like we all do. See what happens. You know, sometimes throwing a hard ball isn't usually the best way to do this. Yeah, I, I throw a hard ball myself, and you got to learn to tailor it. You know, different times if you're struggling, you gotta take a little off. Look at this. We found the one three pocket. Four, eight, and ten with a lot of junk on the deck. What do you think here, Dennis? Wait for that wood to stop. Let's see where, where we're going. going. Alright, you know what? The best bet is probably hit that uh dead wood in front of the ten on the right. The view is up there. If you can look very carefully in front of the front piece of dead wood, there's a line there. Well, you should have listened to me, Louie. Just Which saying. It signifies Just where saying. the dead wood can stop that after that. Would be taken out of play. He's left the 10 pin for the 10 box. No, he's not bowling, man. He's uh, he races cars. He's been on the show before. Yeah. No, he was a number one seed at one point in time. And you did talk to me earlier and told me his favorite shot is the uh, any one pin spare shot he likes, and he hates the four horseman for any type of attempt for 10 or a spare. Justin White. Justin's favorite shot is the single single pin with the, the plank up against it. I think that's everyone's. <laughs> yeah. Well, unless you miss it. I actually Perfect. like the diamond myself. Ooh, the diamond cutter. Look at this. Look at this. Aces office. and eights, baby. Aces and eights. Dead oh, man's hand. Dead man's Get six pins up. He hits Tough his shot. object, and he only takes out two. King of the Palace terminology. No, king of the Palace terminology. No, it's king of the Palace terminology. Uh, a lot of people love to cover other stuff. Mm -hmm. He dropped it for nine blocks. He's disappointed. He's opened up at three opens. Needs the mark. We've only had one one mark out of seven boxes. But it's gonna start coming sooner or later. It does. It's the king of the palace. Ooh, had the head shot. Head, no. Favorable spare leave. Two four seven. Got a bulldozer. Or Steve likes to say a snow plow. <laughs> snow plow, either one. Yep, plow right through it. I'm going to the right of the red line on this one. No, oh, good left. Wow. Ooh. Maybe he didn't want to go there. And he's left the two and the seven. No wood. No wood. This shot All the wood's on the right. This shot can't in bowling, known as baby split. Even though it's the ten box, no. Couldn't get the it. baby split. Drilled it, and then after four, Dennis, we got Louis at 42, Justin at 36. Uh, we got to start some mocks here. We got to see some mocks happen. We got to get the hammer. Yeah, Louis, I think that would turn the trade. Louis holding on to a six pin lead. Very deliberate bowler or wide oh, ball. Threw that one into the ocean. Oh, that was on its way to the national. And yeah, that one got away from him. By the way, the. Got away. Into the ocean by way of the that national. Was like a, that, was, that wasn't even like a bullet in the gun. It was like a blank. Got to attack the hit. Oh, oh, thought he had a little bit better. He throws that ball as hard as he probably races cars. David, do you think he's a uh, 42 mile per hour bowler? Um, I, I, I should take it back. Oh, one second. Got to 10. Nice I don't game. know. That's too much information for me. Remember, that's what I stated in previous shows. If they throw the ball 42 miles an hour, Dennis, that means the ball hits the head pin far right up in in one second. And that's a proven fact. Louis. Okay, Louis up. Oh, a little bit wide. Hey, right. this is Louis' favorite shot, the triangle. The triangle, there it is. Now, Dennis, being a right hand bowler, explain to the, the viewers, is it, in your opinion, better to go to the right or to the left? Oh, it's one pin. it's all preference, really. It's all, all for the ball. Okay, yeah. sure. okay. Oh, he went to the left. Yeah, he went contact. way to the left. He, had, he needed the contact, obviously. But got away from him a little bit. Okay, tell what you're more comfortable with. 
You just don't want to hit it dead on. Yeah. Push it. And you go to the left again. Very disappointing. Okay. Leaves me to open for Justin. Yeah, a couple yeah, marks. A couple marks, it can really open up some distance. Yeah, we'll definitely wait for some marks to happen. Here's his chance. Fox number five. Nelly number three. Let's see what happens. Oh. Pin. Nice ball. He's just left the kingpin. Nice nine pin drop. The five pin just sitting there for the spin. Five pin with a whole bunch of, well, a couple of jokes on there. Court gestures. See his dead eye. Oh. All over it. All over it. Right on rice, kid. Nice, nice, nice shot. Nice delivery, nice form. Picked it up. Okay, he's gonna try to fill it with an eight, nine, and ten. Get some real good momentum in here. Momentum, momentum. momentum. Oh man. That one slipped. Momentum. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm not a pro I'm not a pro, so okay. okay. Oh, 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 man. oh. Now he's left just the eight pin. Wow, that was a nice ball. He found that stroke on that one. That was beautiful. Left the eight pin and waiting for this other piece of wood. Maybe we'll get a little luck. Oh, come on, come on. No, no, no. This is going to be a tough shot, yeah. man. That, that pin is I don't like this in. Wood. I don't like this. We'll go to the left of the red line. Yeah, I would have to agree with that one. He's making this adjustment on the alleys. Watch this. Yeah. A little full. A little full push. You know, I kind of wonder if those two pieces of wood on the right would have might have been helped him out a little bit. Tough to say. Yeah. yeah. You never know what double wood, what it's going to do. They probably would have hit that piece of wood, the second piece of wood. Mr. Wide left after six. After six, it's Louis at 60 and Justin at 64. Well, Louis. Justin hold on to a four pin lead. We're waiting for some, for some explosions on this deck. All the strikes have got to start coming. The hammers got to start coming. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, I call it. Uh, there it is. That's what we needed. Louis wrecked the wreck oh. that ball. He needed that one. Oh, obliterated those. That balls. one is what we call a confidence builder. That is the confidence builder right there. When you throw a ball like that and there's just like the acme plunger that just explodes. Wide right. Left uh, four horsemen left along with the nine and ten. He's got to get at least four out of six. Here no wood on this one. Oh, this is very. This is a tough shot. Yeah, play the four horsemen. Go for the fill. Yeah. Go yep. for the fill. Oh, he almost pulled it off. You might have had it if that one piece of wood didn't come over and stop it dead in its tracks. Well, there's still nothing wrong with a nine for one. No, nope. nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with a nine for one. A spare auto strike. Gets this, he's got a 10 box, and he's got a 29 for two. Whoa! Ooh, right around it. Look at that. Helicoptered it. Another piece of ugly wood that wasn't beneficial. All right, here's Justin up, box number seven. Lane number three. Justin, he wants to find it. Justin needs to start doing some work. Louis pulling away a little bit. Yeah, he wants the match to strike the his face. Yes, Louis, you yeah. oh, He's wide left, left. He left the four horsemen. Justin's favorite shot. Okay, hey, let's see if we can knock down Mo Larry Shrimp. And Actually, I take that back. This is his least favorite shot. Least favorite. Well, now we see why. Wide right, he knew it. You know, Justin Bowles out of Academy. Also won the Friday Night Pro League. And he partakes in the various King of the Hills around the area. So he's a, you know, a veteran candidate and bowler. And gets to view different houses. to find it did throw a hammer in the seventh box. Let's see what happens. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. You saw it, people. You saw it happen. 
The Dread is Fred Eagle. The Dread Eagle. Nah, I got, I, I'm not coming. That's the fourth time today we've seen it. That's why I didn't start talking, because I was like, I don't understand it. I'll never understand it. Welcome to my nightmare. That okay. shot is like Steve's pants that he came in today with. Well, there's nothing wrong with the bell bottoms. Oh, the bell bottoms. Now, where do we begin? Oh, God. Okay, now, he, he hit his head pin. He wanted the momentum build in the ninth box. He wanted to set himself straight to the tenth box. That's like slamming hits the head pin. Car door. And he gets a spread eagle and he lands up with a seven box. I think he just slammed into the jet dryer, pretty much. Let's see what happens now. A uh, little wide right, he's left an ugly one, two, no. nine. It's like the harder he throws that ball, the least control he has over it. I think that Dennis will agree to throw the ball hard, tend to lose accuracy. It all depends. It depends on the ball. Like, I, I throw a high ball, so if you slow it down too much, you lose accuracy. So it's, it's a fine line that you got to, you know, you got to adjust. Yeah, yeah, you got to adjust. All right, he's just left the uh, 10 pin up here. He failed on the spin. The arm is a machine. It's a piston. He's what? He's firing on six cylinders. Is that firing on somebody's pain. medication? It's the polyester, man. It's the polyester. It's getting to me. I'm telling you. It's all the polyester. Okay. Louis finishes with a very disappointing one. Don't even ask me where that came from. It's like an out of body experience there or something. Only two marks. Just Don't worry. I'll, I'll get my. I'll get. I'll get my. Did you roofie him? I'll get my chops <laughs> busted on that one. Justin can open it up. He drops six on the spare. This is a very difficult shot. Not as easy as it looks, Dennis. Tough one. You got to go. Three, around. six, ten, and the five pin. Very difficult shot. Oh, no. He punched out. He's got four pins up. He hits his object, and what happens? He gets one out of four. Well, at least he wasn't penalized. What do you mean he wasn't penalized? He just hit a little too full. It doesn't matter. He still hit his object. He hit it too full. Come on now. Okay. Really? He, did. he still threw the ball 60 feet and hit his object. No, he didn't. If he would have hit his object, he would have gotten him off. All right. Last box. A little full. Justin, all right. Yes. I agree. A little full. Push the pin straight back. One too many cheeseburgers before he bowled today. Here he goes. Let's see what happens. Nice ball. Oh, oh he found the head pin, a little high. Yet seven high, pin. A little light, but just left the seven. Seven pin, there's a lot of wood on the deck. Got to go right at this. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. You don't want to mess around with this don't, wood. Don't mess with it. Yeah. Go right he's at got, it. He's got that natural hook, so this should hook right in for him. Oh. oh. How disappointing is that? Oh, he wanted that. But it's getting up and bowling and happens. And after the first string we got, Louis Ma at 104, Justin Scally at 107. Justin just holding on to a three pin lead. Yeah, you know, Justin had an opportunity to open it up a little bit more and open up that lead, and he just threw that ball in the ocean. That's going to be a little disappointing for him. Just going to bounce back. Yep, right now. Wants to throw the same ball here to start off the second string. Wipe that out of your head and move on. You got to get it out of your wide right. Wide right, and he's left to one and four. Ten. Oh, wait, wait. No. no, no, it moved. What the, moved? The, the four pin actually moved off its spot. It came forward. Yeah, so? Maybe maybe it's now it's the one, the two and a half pin. I don't know. Four, Forget it. Uh, four and a half pin. Oh, the two and a half. Who knows? The, See, rod the, two pin is, the two pin is missing. There is nine inches between the pins when the pins are up and 12 when they're not. No matter how many, no matter how many times. Oh, look at this. Nice, nice shot. Heck up. Are you nice kidding me? Shot. Now here's an example. That was a beautiful pickup. Pick Deadwood came back, took out the, the no, last remaining. He, he got lucky on that one. That was, that was nice a nice way, ball. Nice way to open up the mark. Open up the string with the mark. Okay, he wants the 8, 9, and 10. What are you finding here, Dennis, on this approach? A little more deliberate, a little less speed, or about the same? It seems like he's getting a little looser up now. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's definite. It's one of those things where this is Justin's first appearance in the King of the Palace. So, I mean, you get a you know, second appearance, excuse me, because last week he defeated Phil Clough. But it's one of those things where you got to get used to the pressure and the cameras. Got a need Phil on the spear. Tried to ricochet and do some action with the dead work, but that was a very difficult spear. Picked up the eight pin. It's like super nine. Eight. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Eighteen. Take that all the Throwing way. that ball, no, <laughs> threw that ball away. Tried to ride the rail. Fell off the rail and into the ocean. 
the K. Louis, Into the gutter. Louis Maha trailing by seven, opening up string number two, lane number three, box number one. Hopes to do some damage. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, look at this. The one three pocket. You know, I am surprised that this is like one of the ugliest leaves there is, and nobody puts this down as their least favorite shot. The four, five, seven. Disgusting. But he's got a lot of width to help him out. Which one are we going to play? I'm going right, right, right. Nope. Oh, the front. Oh, it went up and around. It didn't make contact with the Left king. the five pin. And he, now he's got four pieces of wood out there. In the yeah, deck. this is... Uh, Any kind of contact with that, that dead wood should take that five pin. Should. There you go. Well, nothing wrong with opening up with the pin. Okay. He found the pocket. Just didn't get any good action on it. Left a difficult spare. Throw the same ball, maybe the five pin falls, and he's got a two pin of first spare. Sometimes there. just a little minor adjustment. Found it all there. there that adjustment. He wrecked the rack. He, he needed that one. Yep. He, I, he, nice ball, Louis. Did appear to get a little more in the pocket that time. He got the hammer. That's what he wanted. Yeah, that was. Um, that was there. That was that. That's a minor adjustment on Louis's part. Okay, Justin up on. Alley three. Box number three. Wants to try to match the hand. Oh, wide left. Ooh. Ooh this is four horsemen with the seven pin. Oh, this is different. Oh, this one's picking up speed back here. Look at this. Oh, Dennis, you gotta split him, right? See uh, what happens. That dead wood's probably gonna be a hindrance. Yeah. yeah. But you know what though? Um, it may help him out a little bit. I might try to actually go outside on this one. Oh. He went outside just a little too full on it. Good bit though. No, nope. he's gonna have to try to get through this one. At least, or try to at least go off the one pin. Or go off to the ten. There you go. Yeah, if you're gonna miss it, at least take the pin. Okay. You miss your spots. Justin up. Wing number four. Box number four. Beating the king of the palace last week. Unbelievable. Oh, dropped it right. Left this. Half wish the right. Favorite shot. The new, new palace. The <laughs> new palace. Yeah. yeah very disappointing. Beautiful shot. My favorite shot. Beautiful one it goes. Little thin. Some people, you know, Dennis, they, they say either. Inside of the pin or the outside of the pin takes it. Again, yep. it's all personal preference. Yep. I've hit it. I, my my personal preference is on the inside. With me, it actually depends on uh, what lane I'm bowling at, like bowling at New Palace as opposed to somewhere else. Because you know, after bowling at certain alleys for you know a certain amount of times, you know where to play the shots where it's going to go a little better than you at a different house. Right. So do you think of the side curtains down there, Dennis? So a determining factor? Oh, the sidewalls can either hurt you or help you. That's definitely, that's definitely that. Excuse me. Okay, Louis. It's, oh, not, it's so not the sun kiss symbol on the plate. <laughs> that, that's a, <laughs> that could help too, yeah. <laughs> Louis, a little wide right on his first delivery here to fill the strike. He's left the one to three to ten. Excuse me, the one to two to ten. I think he hits his head pin and may go. Oh, no, he was wide left. He needed it. He needed the head pin. Okay. It's one of those things where it's just. A half an inch off. He's left the one in the ten. Still an eight ball on a strike, nothing wrong with it. No. Gets one out of two here. Oh. Ooh, threw that one away. Got 26 for two. He's got you know, it's, it's, for it's, two. it's amazing that a lot of the times that, you know, pinning is everything. And what I've seen so far today is that they want to try to get the ten. Even though that the possibility of getting that ten is great. You know, is not so great. They still go after that ten. Exactly. You know, and that that could actually hurt him in the end. Well, he was wide left. He's left the cluster here. The one, the two, the three, the five, the six. Piece of wood up behind the five. Uh, he nails any part of this head pin. No, you need the head pin again. Just a little off. Just a little off. Work on the ten. Now this is one of the ones where you want to get the tens. Take the ten if you can. Take a nine and walk away. Just make sure you grab the least. There you go. And after four, we got 
Louis at 46, Justin at 45. We've got a real, real close match here, guys. Justin has a two pin match lead right now. Well, once again, pinning may be the key, David. Yeah. Yeah. Two pin lead for Justin. Let's see what happens. Lane number three, box number five, two the big wind up and draw. Yes. He's left the two pin spare. He's got the four and the eight. This is how close this match is. Two pin for the match, for the game. Justin, only one pin lead in this one. Actually, Louis has a one pin lead in his screen. Oh, excuse me. Yep. This, I don't like this wood down. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't think mean, Justin liked it either. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, it happens. You know, it happens. You Take just never know. Go you just never ten. know. You just never know. If you can see it, try to go after it. Okay, you got the 10. Well, hopefully he throws the same first ball again, gets some favorable spear lead. Familiar three, three rocks with the on there, Dennis. What do you mean, familiar? That's how he winds up. Oh, no, oh, look, oh, look at this. <laughs> look, that, that, how can you take out the three, five, eight, leave no wood? And, uh, <laughs> We need to go over angle of deflection again. <laughs> it looks it looks like it looks like Phil Clough is paying another visit to Justin. Phil didn't really I don't understand. He's down there. <laughs> <laughs> he texted him. Well he, he beat him. He beat him. He beat him. Uh, takes all three pins out of ten. Finishes with a nine nice bar. On Louis coming up to the Box number five on lane number three. He wants to try to get some momentum here. Yeah, this you know, one of these guys needs to start throwing something down. Yeah. Well, now that the lights are on, the cameras are on, it's a lot different than the qualifying matches. You know what it too is, is, is uh, we're doing this as they're bowling for the first time ever, so they can probably hear us yapping. So maybe we're making them a little nervous every once in a while. Or, Crack on them. Yeah, that I suppose know, concentration. Take offense to it. You know, I try to keep. I try to speak. You know, even keel and stuff like that. This is an ugly, ugly. Two pin up for so he does. Pins up for nine. There you go. Ten. Go after the one. Oh, he's got to be busy. You can't win. You got to keep on throwing the ball, Dennis. Go ahead. This is this is how tight this match is. Everything counts, especially when it's this close. Yeah, you don't want to throw anything away right now. You want to buckle it down. You got to keep on attacking. Oh, he threw it wide right. One, two, and four. He's a good coming up against the four. What do you think, Dennis? About 60% this shot made? Running the ladder. Out of 10, running the ladder? It actually depends on the ball. Right? Oh. Said, if, if you're more comfortable making a shot, you're going to hit it more. If it's a shot that you just can't stand, you're going to hit it less. It's all mental. Ball is 90% mental, 10% talent. I've said it. I've got coached people. What is it again? 90% mental. Oh, I gotta write that down. 10% talent. 90% mental. What is the luck factor in? Well, that's that's probably part of the <laughs> <laughs> probably part of the mental. <laughs> oh, you missed the object. You missed the spear. Drop nine. I thought the saying was, "I'd rather be lucky than good." Well, you know, some people do, do see that. Uh, after six, tied match. Tied, tied game, 64-64, but Justin's got a... Final four boxes. Justin's got a three-pin lead. Wide right, he's left to fall. No, but piece of dead... Oh, now look at this. Piece of wood slid over, made contact into the eight, which took out the four and the seven. He's left the four, one and the two. Very, very makeable two-pin of spare. Should just go right after this that hit the, pin. This is one of the ones where you want to dial it in. You need every pin okay, right now. Put some distance. Uh, yeah, wide left. Away. Away. Wide left. Had to get that hit pin. It's a little nerve-wracking the first time out. Leaves the finger of God up there. You do agree, Dennis? A little difficult, David. More difficult to bowl in the actual TV round than it is. I've never ball. done it, so I don't know. Dennis? Dennis can tell you. Well, like you said, all eyes are on you. Yeah. You know uh, you make a mistake, everyone's going to see it. See so it. You, you kind of want to think about your shot more, and that can actually hurt you rather than help you. Yeah, you come to think about it, you had 30,000 views last year alone on King of the Palace on YouTube, so I mean, and then not to mention the various local access TV stations that it's at. You know, and if you want to be a part of the local access TV, then go to your 
media town hall, ask them where your local access TV station is, and go there and fill out the paperwork and say, hey, I want Kim Pimbo on my more, more, on my TV. View, more views, the better. Very ugly you know, parts here for Justin. Dennis is, uh, Dennis is one of the first ones that actually got it in Saugus, where he lives. We appreciated that. He only got it because he was on the show, that's why. <laughs> he did it as a... He had his family all hung uh, around. He's a veteran you know, candle He actually with... taped it and had it at Christmas shows. Look at me. Did I tell you that? <laughs> I was invited. He likes to get up and he, he, wanted me to, he wanted me to come down and do commentary for him live. <laughs> Louis Maha, oh, he's wide left. And David, what? Dennis, I think the boulders here are uh, feeling the pressure a little bit. I think you can probably hear our mouths, yeah. Well, when the match is close, too, you're putting even more pressure on yourself. Because yeah. you miss a pin here or there, you know it can cost you the match. Oh, yeah, they know, what they're, they know what they're looking at. He's got to get this head pin here. Wide left, wide left. Leave the head pin in this game. Well, these guys don't step it up, they're not going to be breaking 100. He wants this 10 to gain a pin on uh, Justin, cut that lead down to two. You know, King of the Palace is up for grabs, man. It's, it's this is. Take it. oh, oh, look at that. Good look at that. It's it's a, it's, that's one of those words, rather be lucky than good. Exactly. <laughs> He's smiling. Louie knew he missed it. Louie better wipe your feet on that one, kid. He knew he missed it, but. It's a 10 box. Yeah, it works. It works. Looks the same on paper. Well, now we can make open up some distance here. He's opposite a seven ball. Oh, wow. Oh, like Thank God it wasn't on a fill. Oh. He threw that one away. What did he take out? You see that one as soon as he was getting ready to throw it. Now he's got to come back with a strike ball to make the spare. Yeah, that's a makeable spare. Well, we've always said, David Dennis, and you tell me head pins up the can of pin bowling to spare the lead. Exactly. Uh, opportunity. An opportunity. Right. Now he's left the one, two, seven for a ten box. With a piece of wood up. Well, if he gets the ten box, if he gets this the ten. This is locked in. This is a, a makeable ten. If he gets the ten, he picks up three more pins on Justin. He really puts the pressure on. It's good. Ooh, that pin just went right through it. Picked up two, and we got after eight, Dennis. Louie at 83, Justin at 80. The match is even. Dead even. Wow. And it just comes down to the last two boxes. Yeah, Justin wants to move on, man. He needs to start dropping some bombs. Justin Scale here. Either one of these two guys. He wants to put the pressure on. And look, look at, at this. this. Look. Oh, look at this. This is going to be a tough one. Well, boy, I thought he'd you know what? I would probably go for the left side. Left side of that three pin. Try to push some of that wood around and take out the seven. Concur, Dennis? Yes. Oh, nice yes. pickup. Yes. That was clutch. He wanted it. He got it. Now the big ball, the tenth box. That's not, that's the good way to build in the foundation box. Yeah. Well, this is a good way the to put pressure on your opponent, opponent right there. Oh, sure, the ninth box determines the box. Confidence of view, and it's a little oh, does he eagle deflated for your opponent. He ain't got it. Oh, oh he's got an eight box. No, an eight fill. An eight fill. Yeah, eight fill. Excuse me. With that's what we call him bowling the skip law, but it's still a legally delivered ball, Dennis. The ball did not go over the log line. You know, he's dropped the road. As long as it hits the ground before that log line, it's legal. Ten feet up. Nice delivery. Oh! Ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, come on, fall down. Wow. Not enough juice on that pin. No, uh, come on now. I didn't say the plate. <laughs> there's, no juice, th th there's no juice going on here, all right? It's not like it was freshly squeezed this morning. Very important pin. He got the nice 10 box. Nice 10. 28. Oh, the forces. Louie, the last one. You get at least one box. Yeah, there's a lot of pressures on Louie right now. Well, this, right. it's the king of the palace. He needs 29 pins and two boxes. Yeah. It's yeah. the king of the palace. It can be done. Oh, yeah. This is Caleb Pimbo, and this is what it's all about. This is the tournament. Let's see what happens. Wide right. Nothing's been oh, too, oh, oh, they nothing's been, they have, neither one of these guys have been too explosive. No. It just comes down to the last two. I mean, you may see, you know, not a lot of strikes and not a lot of spares, but at this point in time, you see definitely what we've been saying from day one, pinning is everything. Exactly. If you can't hit a striker, you can't hit a spare, the pins aren't coming the way oh, you're going. God. He matched the mark. Oh, is this getting He got a pin. He needs the mark here. There's no doubt about oh. it. Well, well, if he gets a nine throw and a ten, he'll win by a pin. Yeah. Oh, my. Well, people, we got to watch this. Doesn't very matter if you win by a pin or ten. ten. 
here it is. This is a wind's probably, over. This is probably going to determine. It's going to go up the ladder. He ooh, saw the head pin. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, look, look at this. this. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Yeah, he oh. definitely needs a mark now. Yeah. Looking back to what he needs. Let's get the three, the four, the seven with some wood up against the three. Two pieces of wood against the three. This is one of those ones where you definitely got to spray and pray. Oh, 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 that's it. Wouldn't be enough. This very, Gets the very, 10. It's a one pin. Picks up the 10. And Justin Scaly has advanced. By one pin. Final one score, 110 to 108. Total match was Justin Scaly at 215, Rui Maha at 214. Very close match. That's why every pin counts in this game. One pin match. Scratch match, 110, 108. Well, guys, you don't really need spares and strikes all the time. All that matters is the final score.